Welcome to Glass Blowing with Andy Cohn. This video is the second in a series of introductory glass blowing lessons taught by Andy Cohn. In the first lesson, she showed us how to make a glass paperweight. This will be the follow up lesson on how to make your first cup. Remember that if you're in San Diego and interested in taking a lesson with Andy, you can schedule time with her in her studio by calling her at 619 338 This, uh, the first thing you make when you learn how to blow glass is a cup. We're going to blow a cup. Okay? We're going to make sure the pipe is hot. If the glass isn't hot, if the pipe isn't hot, the glass won't stick to it. So we're going to get the pipe hot so the glass will stick to it. Because glass won't stick to a cold pipe. Glass will not stick to a cold pipe. So the end of the pipe will start glowing. It's glowing. We're going to make sure we can blow through it. The pipe is clear. We're going to get our first gathering. The gathering is getting glass out of the furnace. So we're going to go in and we're going to go one, two, three. We're going to level the pipe. We're going to catch the drip. We're going to get it out of here. We're going to keep it level, we're going to keep it turning, we're going to go to the gathering. One, two, three, catch the drip, come on out. Okay, we're going to let a little bit of the glass come off the pipe naturally. That way the glass is still as hot as it can be. The less you tool a piece, meaning any kind of tool, the hotter it'll stay. So we're going to get the glass that's on the pipe off the pipe with the newspaper. We're going to get an egg shape. This is seven sheets of the New York Times and then we're going to blow the bubble. So I, I did something called blowing and capping. I blew as hard as I could and I trapped the air and the bubble is now coming out. And that's because your thumb is capped over the yes, end of the pipe. my thumb was capped. It's called blowing and capping. It is a great tool to learn. It makes life so much easier. All right, so I'm going to let some of the glass come off the pipe. I'm going to get the glass that's on the pipe off the pipe. <coughs> then I'm going to get my egg shape. And then I'm going to get a bubble. So I'm going to blow and cap. bubble. There we go. That's all you need to get it started. One little bubble. So, so we're going to start putting color on it. So we need to get it hot. We're going to go into the heat. Always keeping the pipe level and turning. We want to be right under the flame. of the reading, keep the pipe level and turning. I'm going to pick up some color, the color is called frit, onto the pipe. And I've got a little color mix going on here. This is called frit, and this is a mix of many colors. As soon as it stops picking up color, it's cold. So we're going to get it hot. Melt some of that frit in. You can actually see it melt. It starts getting like little red bubbles. Only it's not actually bubbling. We're going to put another layer on. We're going to go back into our frit mix. We want to try to get the frit on as deep as possible. Adding mass every time you're adding color, and you want to add your mass as evenly as possible so that you don't have more color on one side than the other, because then it will be thicker or thinner on one side. 
All right, we're going to make one more pass into the clip. All right. into the mix and we're going to reheat. You want to take advantage of using the nice ball bearings. What the pipe is rolling on is called a yoke, Y-O-K-E, and it's made to make your life easier. I'm going to go back to the bench. I'm going to use those nice ball bearings, come out and walk back over to the Reshape. I'm going to get the glass that's on the pipe off the pipe again. I'm going to reshape my egg. And then I'm going to blow. And cap. And you'll see the bubble getting bigger, or you'll see the piece getting bigger. Alright. So there we go. There is our first bubble. When you sit at the bench, your right hand never touches the pipe. We're going to get some of the glass that's on the pipe off the pipe again. We're going to get our egg shape back in. And then we're going to blow again. So I blew and capped. I trapped the air in my, with my thumb again. And you can see that it's getting fatter, rounder. Awesome. Beautiful. Okay. Gather number two. Drum roll. <laughs> Seems so good. Okay, door. Stays open. Hands come back. All the way around. Catch the drip. Come on out. Keeping it locked. Yeah, yeah, so do you put your sunglasses on? on? Because the coils are so bright. Yes. They can actually burn your retinas, right? Yes, they can. They can. Over long periods of time. All right. So through the magic of television, people at home won't have to put their sunglasses That's on. That's very correct. So we're going to get our second and final gather for this piece. The glass is 2,000 degrees right now. It's clear, but it looks orange because it's 2,000 degrees and you would look a different color. If you were 2,000 degrees, you would actually be ash. So the glass is really moving right now. So I'm going to splash a little water on my paper. I'm going to attempt to get the glass that's on the pipe head off without getting the whole piece long. I'm then going to pull and shape the middle. And then I'm going to pull and shape the bottom. At this point, the paper is really just finesse. It's not muscle. More often than not, you're using finesse rather than muscle. So I'm going to blow again a little bit. Blowing and turning. So I'm letting some of the glass come off. Get the glass off the pipe again. Yeah, there was hot water in my hand. Um, to shape the middle. And now I'm going to blow and turn. So I can see where my pipe ends, so I'm going to get it hot, I'm going to use this tool to make a score mark so the piece can come off the pipe when it's ready to come off the pipe. So I'm going to go back to the reheat, focus the heat where the jack mark is going to go, always turning. Never stop turning when you come out. One, make sure you turn. Always.
is turning. I'm going to let some of it, I'm going to let gravity work for a minute. And now it's thinner where the pipe ends so I can get the jack mark in there better. So you want to go all the way around with just the tips of the jacks. So this is our jack mark. This is the mark where the piece is going to come off the pipe when we want it to come off the pipe. So where the jack is, the jack is the top, where the jacks are, is the top of the piece. This will be the bottom. Make what's called a square mark. And you want to angle the jacks away from the pipe because that's where it's going to separate. Show the angle on there again, the show angle. You. So you, you want to angle the jacks away from the pipe just using the tips. And that pulls the, the piece off of the pipe and it makes it a little thinner. So we're getting kind of hot again and we're going to blow and turn. Most of the mass is blown out so it will be, every time you blow from now, it will be easier and easier because you've blown through more mass. So what you're looking for in the reheat is if you stop turning, you want it to be flopping. So you're going to come out Always keep it turning. Stop turning. And now we're going to blow and turn. If the glass is hot, it should blow out like bubble gum. If the glass is not hot, it will not blow. Right. So if I stop just for a minute, it will go off center. But then you can let it, what's called air marver, back on center. So this I want to be a cup or a glass, so it's kind of fat to be a cup. So I'm going to do what's called the hang and swing. I'm going to get the whole piece hot. Starts flopping, I'm going to come out, keep it turning, and hang and swing. Gravity will then pull the piece down and make it longer. So always turning, never stop turning, and then you're going to hang and swing and turn. And the gravity pulls the piece off of the punty, yes, off the blowpipe in this yes, case. Yes. All right. So there we go. So now it's quite long. Come out and hang it and let gravity work by hanging and swinging and turning it. Then it'll get the piece longer. And I'm going to get it hot again and blow a little more. That's a nice shape. That looks like a nice shape and a nice height for a cup. So what we're going to do is we're going to flash the whole piece in the glory hole, which means getting the whole piece hot. And then we're going to focus the heat on the bottom because we're going to then flatten the bottom. Right hand and never touches the pipe. Right hand always goes to the left hand or to our tool. So we're flashing the whole piece, which means you're getting the whole piece hot. Then we're just going to focus the heat on the bottom. Focus the heat on the bottom because that's where I want the glass to blow out. Alright, so in heating the bottom, you just want the absolute bottom in there. Then I'm going to flash the whole piece again, which truck which evens up the rest of the piece, the temperature of the rest of the piece. I'm going to go over to the bench. I'm going to use this graphite panel to flatten the bottom. So this is going to be the bottom of the glass. This will be the top of the glass. So you want the panel completely flush with the bottom of the piece so it sits flat. 
All right, so we're going to now transfer this piece onto a solid pipe so we can open up what I've blown and it can it will change the shape of the top. So I'm going to get the whole piece hot. was extra hot. I don't want the bottom to fall, the bottom to con go the opposite way. <laughs> you can Here's that. a little rack that's been set up. So I'm now going to get a little bit of glass on this solid pipe that was hot. Since the glass pipe has to be hot for the glass to stick to it, we're then going to make this into a little point. Watch your hand. All oh, right. Okay. I can feel it. Yeah, so now I'm going to drape this down. We're going to make sure we don't touch the pipe. So we're going to use the paddle. We're making a little mark with the file. We're going to touch the bottom. We're going to roll it. And then we're going to score the top with water and a file. And we're going to tap it off. It's going to stay on to the pipe. We're going to put the excess in the bucket. And then... Here, show me the, the show me the piece looks like before you toss it right in there. I'll look in the end and see the crack mark. That is really cool. Okay. Glass on this plenty so that I can touch the bottom score the top and get the piece to stick onto this pipe. <coughs> so we make a little punty. Grab the pipe. I got it. And then we use the file to make some little ridges so it will separate a little easier. I roll. you're going to have a different scenario. Sometimes it will be flopping. Sometimes you'll have just barely had it hot enough so that it sticks. So every time is different, but I'm going to do what's called flashing. And a flash where the two glasses meet so that it doesn't fall off and hopefully I don't overheat it and have it um, fuse. So it's actually very precarious at this moment. If you over flash the piece, it can the piece and the punty can fuse and take a hole out of it. And if you don't flash enough, it can fall off. It can fall off. So that's just a matter of timing and practice. And we're going to focus the heat on the top because that's what the shape we're going to change. Bench, you always flash. So I'm going to go back to the bench. 
beep it level. So I'm going to take the jacks, get inside, and lift up and roll. So I'm going to get this hot again because I want this to be open more. So it will be a drinking vessel. So once again I'm going to flash and focus the heat just on the top. This is just a matter of timing and feeling. So I'm going to flash again and I'm going to go back to the bench. Right hand always goes for a tool. Right hand never touches the pipe. So I'm going to lift up with my right hand and roll with my left. And the two work together. And there you have a cup. There we go. We have So we're going to then take it off the punty and it is successfully. We're going to use a knife where the two glasses are temporarily uh, held together. We're going to set up a break point and in theory it should pop right off. Nicely done. Right. And we're going to fire polish the bottom so it won't be sharp. Put it flat and it won't be sharp. And then we're going to put it away and it will not come out until tomorrow. It has to temper overnight. Cool slowly. And if you don't let it cool down slowly overnight, what happens? It will explode into many, many, many pieces. So there you have it. Your first drinking vessel. <laughs> right hand never touches the pipe, and I'm pushing down with my left and lifting up and rolling with my right. Nicely done. And that's how you make a cup.